Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like your vibe or your jam, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, I do wanna encourage you to click on that notification bell. I tend to upload once or twice a week and YouTube does not always push out those videos. So I don't want you to miss a thing. So today we're going to be talking about summer fragrances. I've pulled some of my favorite summer fragrances that I'm loving at the moment and this is what I would consider to be my summer fragrance capsule collection. I do these videos for me number one because I do have an array of fragrances and I definitely want to make sure that I'm getting my use out of them. So I like to pull for fragrances that I'm loving for the season but also some of the ones that I may not reach for um, instantaneously but if they're in my face I will and some of these fragrances have had me in a chokehold for the last couple of months and I'll be incorporating them into my summer um, collection as well. But also I do these videos for you all because I tend to mention fragrances over and over again on my channel and I find that that is helpful because um, if you have like a similar palette as myself, you would know like if I really love something, the more that I talk about it. So I'm not always just going out and purchasing brand new fragrances just to show you all. I literally love to shop my own collection and use the fragrances that I have. So if you guys are interested in my summer fragrances, stick around. So you guys know I've definitely been into more feminine fragrances this year and that is going to move into summer as well, um, which is perfect because in the summer you definitely want to smell fresh. Um, and for me, I like to smell feminine and I want to have on a fragrance that I don't have to worry about in the hot heat, something that's not going to attract bugs or make me feel sticky and sweaty and too sweet. Those heavy hitters that I really love in the winter, they don't do well at all in the summer. And honestly, I just haven't been reaching for those type of scents at all in 2023. So if you love very feminine, beautiful, um, you know, fresh scents, this video is going to be for you. It's definitely given an Amory summer. This is one thing you did also very much so um, single sexy and free um, making my own money if you like what you see you know what I mean <laughs> spit your best game at me so if you know where that's from comment down below but yes it's definitely given that type of summer vibe I'm just really loving feminine things as you can see I have on my pink today this top is super old from H&M if you guys are wondering but let's go ahead and get into the fragrance so the first fragrance that has had me in a chokehold for the last I want to say four to five months you guys is the Lancome Edole I'll definitely be repurchasing this I have a small bottle here and I also have um, a travel size that I keep in my purse y'all this scent is the epitome of feminine, sexy, flirty, summer vibes. I loved it in the spring as well, um, but this is beautiful. This came out in 2019. I would say that this is a fruity, floral, musky type of fragrance. Definitely an easy blind buy. Some would say that this is a generic fragrance, but if you do feel that way, this is one of the prettiest generic fragrances I've ever smelled. I can't go anywhere without getting a compliment on this one. I love how fresh it is, you guys. It is beautiful. You can layer it with so many different things. If you love a floral scent and you like peony, this is a good one for whatever reason. It just puts me in the mind frame of peonies and peonies are my favorite flowers. I love this scent so much, you guys. I wear it by itself. It lasts a long time on me and I also like to mix this fragrance as well. So I highly recommend you guys check out Lancome Edole. Like I said, it is definitely a safe blind buy. I think you will love it. It's so Amory summer. You know what I mean? It is an Amory summer. This is beautiful, beautiful scent. Next up, I want to talk about the Givenchy Irresistible Fragrance. This one is newer to my collection. I have the Eau de Parfum here, but they do have a couple different flankers of this. And I love this one because this one is more sweet, musky, and floral. And the Lancome Idol leads more on the fresh side with you know a little bit of fruitiness too but this one I would say is like the date night version of the Lancome Edole. This is so 
beautiful, so sexy, very pretty girl scent. Um, it's a little heavier, a little bit more of a gourmand vibe. So if you are a gourmand girl, but you're looking for something that's a little bit more fruity and fresh for summer, I would recommend you guys check out the Givenchy Irresistible Parfum. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love to mix these two together. This lasts a long time on my skin and it's beautiful on its own. But when I mix it with this in the daytime, it is beast mode in the most feminine, flirty, fresh way. So love these two together, but this alone is like my date night type vibes. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, pretty girl scent. And I think this is, when I wear this, I definitely get the pear, musk, and rose on this. Um, it's a lot more grounded because it's not as fresh, but it is so beautiful, you guys. Very feminine. And like I said, this is a good blind buy in my opinion as well. So, next up, I have the Roja Parfums Elixir Essence Fragrance. This fragrance is one that I've had in my collection for a couple of years, and I'm pulling it out again because I really need to use this this a lot more. One reason that I don't reach for this as much is that it does not last that long on me, but the scent is absolutely beautiful. This is definitely a powder, light, fruity scent, very feminine, the epitome of a feminine woman or girl. Um, to me, this definitely is not a mature scent. To me, this is like a younger, fresh scent for me, but very, very, very fruity. And I really do like it, but again, it does not last that long. So when I wear this, I definitely get the peach, the rose, the violet. I get a little bit of like a musky and woody fragrance as well. Um, this is so nice, y'all. It is the essence though. So it's definitely not supposed to be as heavy because Roja Parfums is known to be a super heavy, um, you know, like beast mode type of fragrance house. But this one is really nice. It's beautiful. Um, I think that you should layer this. And I think I'm going to layer this this summer so I can get a little bit more wear out of it and longevity. So I'm definitely going to start out with my um, Rose. I think it's the Peony from Target. What is it? The Method Body Wash. I should start out with that and then or I can wear the boom boom um body wash too because it's a like coconutty like vanilla type scent and I think this would stick to that really well and fruity so yeah I'm definitely going to start out with that put on my Fenty uh body cream in the vanilla dreams and then top it with this and I think it's just going to give me this really beautiful soft airy fruity floral um fragrance as you can tell fruity floral is definitely like the vibe of this video um this one is so nice though this one definitely has a lot more fruit in it though like pears and um, peach. I definitely get a lot of peach out of this. It's really good though. Have you guys tried this? If so, let me know your thoughts on this. And also, if you have tried the original that's not the essence, let me know if it lasts longer. Next up, I have Gold Coast by Bond Number no. 9. And you guys always ask me if I have Bond Number no. 9 um, in my collection. I have smelled so many Bond Number no. 9s and I never really thought enough to pull the trigger on them. I do like Aster Place a lot. I smelled that years and years and years ago and I liked it. At the time, I wasn't spending $400, $500 on fragrances. Years later, I ended up picking up Gold Coast at uh, TJ Maxx and I like to wear this one. This is like a throw on for me, but this year, since I'm really into these like feminine scents, I'm definitely going to pull this out more. This is what I would consider to be an aquatic rose scent. So it's kind of different for me. I like how fresh this is. And when it's super, super hot outside, I love an aquatic note because it just makes me feel fresh and clean. This is a soapy floral rose scent. It's really good. It has lychee in this as well, which is another one of my favorite notes in a fragrance for spring and summer. If I had to compare this to something, this would be like if Lot and Patrice by Dolce and & Gabbana and Chloe Nomad had a baby. Okay, so you know the Lot and Patrice by uh, Dolce and & Gabbana is very aquatic, very like citrusy and just like lemon grapefruit burst. This is that with more of a sweet rose scent to it. So I really like this one a lot. I am excited to pull this one back out. I got this for a really good deal, like I said, at TJ Maxx. And it's nice. It's like the perfect spring summer um, fragrance. If you like aquatic scents, but you are looking for something that is more feminine, because aquatic scents can sometimes lean a little bit masculine, and this one doesn't lean masculine at all. Next up, we have Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. And this is such a tried and true fragrance, you guys. 
I am super excited to wear this one in the summer. This is going to be my date night set. Of course, you can wear this during the day, but this one is more of an amber rose um, kind of woody vibe, but still very ultra feminine. And that's why I want to pull this out for date night. It has a little bit more grounding to it. It's really beautiful, y'all. This is a tried and true scent. Like I said, I'm sure you guys have laid your nose on this one a million and nine times. And I'm sure a lot of you guys actually own this fragrance. It's beautiful. I love the lavender note in this, which always gives a little bit of like something different. It gives like a sexy, fresh vibe to fragrances. And sometimes lavender can lean a little bit masculine, but in this one, it doesn't. It just takes this fragrance up a notch and makes it so unique, yet very palatable. I love this scent so much. It is so feminine. So besides the lavender, you get the bergamot, you get the iris, you get the rose in this. I believe there's jasmine sandback in this, a very like floral, musky, woody fragrance. And it's just so beautiful, y'all. Next up, I have a Byredo fragrance. And this is the only Byredo that I own. This one is called Unname. And every year they come out with this um, Unname scent. Now, I'm not sure if it's the exact same every year, but it is Unname. And as you can see, there's no name on it. It just says Byredo. And um, they do send you like these little stickers that you can name it yourself. So if you want to put your name on it or, you know, create a name for this fragrance, you can. This is what I would consider to be my minimalistic fragrance. Now, all of the other ones that I mentioned are ultra feminine, very like floral scents. This one is totally different. This is an aromatic, woody, um, kind of violet type of scent. I love this one a lot. This is definitely my throw on and go scent. This is for the Pilates girlies. This is also for, um, you know, those throw ons where you may be running to the TJ Maxx or running to the Nordstrom Rack or home goods. You have on a long button down white crisp shirt, some boyfriend jeans or boyfriend shorts, maybe some dad sandals or, you know, just something comfy, a nice tote bag. Um, you do a little bit of your shopping, maybe at Trader Joe's just to beat the traffic. You may stop in and grab you a little bit of a Aperol spritz, you know, and then head home after that. Just like a me day, a me Saturday, um, just a gorgeous, very fresh, aquatic, spa-like type of scent. Love this. I find that the opening on this is very addictive and juicy. Um, you definitely get the violet in this as well. And I think that it lasts a pretty decent amount of time on me. Um, this if I had to compare it, would put me in the mind frame of wood, sage, and sea salt, but this one is way sweeter and a little less um, masculine, in my opinion. So I really like this one, y'all. It's definitely... I wouldn't say that this is a safe blind buy because you have to be in the mood for this type of fragrance, but I do like it and it's very different for me. Also real quick on the notes, this one has gin, pink pepper, violet, orris root, balsam, and oak moss in here. So it is a gorgeous, like woody, like I said, aromatic fragrance that I think is worth trying out. Next up, I have a Parfums de Marly scent. Now this is Delina La Rosie or Rosé or Rose. I'm not really sure. It has two two E's at the end. So comment down below and let me know how I'm supposed to be pronouncing this. But this is the flanker of the original Delina. Um, I own Delina Exclusive, which I find to be a lot more sweet than the original Delina. And this is another frank flanker that is way more fresh. This is an ultra feminine scent. I love all the Delinas, but dare I say, I like this one the most out of all. Um, well, I do like the Delina Exclusive because of that sweet note. I'm a gourmand girl. So to get that tart sweet really does like do it for me. But this one is so good. I like this one better than the original Delina because it's a lot more fresh and aquatic. Um, this is so beautiful, y'all. And it's it takes away a little bit of that tartness. Oh, it's so good. Let me read the notes to you. I got this from Scentbird. That's why it looks like this. Um, and I've used over half of this already. I've only had this maybe a month and a half. It's so good. So the notes in this one are lychee, pear, bergamot. You also have Turkish rose, which is another one of my favorite notes. You have peony, watery notes, floral notes. The base notes include white musk, woody notes, and Haitian vetiver. Y'all, again, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. So fresh, so floral, so just 
good. It is very like pretty girl, rich girl, dad is a billionaire type girl. Okay. On a, you know, like that's how I feel about all the Delinas, honestly. Um, and if you are a Libra, this is us in a bottle. Okay. It's just so beautiful. I get way more compliments on this one too. And I think it's just because it is way more fresh and more palatable. I think that the original Delina is such a different type of scent. I also find that the Delina exclusive is very different, but it's super sweet and powdery. And though I get a lot of compliments on that one, I find that this one really brings in the compliments just because it's way more of a people pleaser because it's fresher and more aquatic in my opinion. So definitely check out Delina La Rose, La Rosie, La Rose. I don't know. It's really good and it's definitely replacing the original Delina for me. Next up, I have Le Jour C'est La Vie from Louis Vuitton and I really love this scent so much. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this fragrance. This is for my citrus girlies out there. If you love a good citrus like scent, you will absolutely love this one. And it's elevated as well. I mean, there's a ton of notes in this one. And I find that this lasts a lot. I get a lot of compliments on this one. Definitely a crowd pleaser. It's not very sweet at all, in my opinion. Just fruity and fresh and aquatic and citrusy. It is so, so, so good without being like floral if that makes sense. So let me read off the notes to you guys. So the top notes in this one are grapefruit, mandarin, orange, orange, bergamot, and black currant. The middle notes are lily of the valley, uh, jasmine sandback, green notes, osmanthus, magnolia, peony, and rose. The base notes are white musk, um, vanilla, and iso e super. I don't know what that means, but those are the notes. I really like this one a lot. I wear this one all the time. This is my throw on and go like when I'm going to the dentist, the doctor's office. You know, this is great for work. This is great for church. This is good for those super, super, super hot days when you don't want to smell too sweet and sticky. It's citrus. It's aquatic. And let me just tell you this. If you used to like Dolce and Gabbana's light blue, but you find that you have outgrown that, check this one out. It gives that same citrus type of vibe, that lemon in there. It really grabbed my attention. I love that burst of fresh aquatic citrus that I get from this. So I highly recommend um, Le Jour C'est La Vie from Louis Vuitton. It is quite expensive and I do find that, I mean, I got this as a gift. So mm, I, I love it. I use it a whole lot. I can't say if I would have purchased it at that price because this was my first Louis Vuitton fragrance and before this I didn't love Louis Vuitton fragrances like that. So since then I have gotten, you know, a couple more that I've purchased with my own money. Um but I do like this one a lot y'all and I wear it a ton as you can see. So Highly recommend. Oh, speaking of citrus, let's talk about Tangerine Boy from Floor. Y'all, this is a newer one in my collection. I picked this up during the Sephora uh, sale and whoo, this one's really good. Okay, so this is definitely a citrusy, musky scent. This is tangerines, just like full burst of tang a full burst of tangerines within the first like hour it is addictive okay it is so juicy like authentic tangerine but the dry down on this is very musky and woody and almost a little bit masculine which is i guess where tangerine boy comes into play i love this scent when i wear this i can't stop just like it makes me happy i just can't stop smelling it and it fills up the car okay like fills up the car it can fill up a room it is very strong and it lasts a long time so if you are a citrus person and you love the smell of tangerines Highly recommend this one, but keep in mind it does dry down fairly masculine. And I like that I can wear this during the day and then at night I'm going to mix it with a bitter peach because it has more of a spicy, um, you know, kind of feel to it a little bit more sweet. It's going to be so sexy and it's just perfect. So like if you're going on vacation, I think this is a good one to take and then you and your man can share it, especially if y'all have um, time for a bitter peach. A must. Okay, let me read off the notes to you guys. So the top notes in this one are lemon, ginger, and black pepper. The middle notes are tangerine, apple, and jasmine, and the base notes are amber and moss. If I had to compare Tangerine Boy to anything that I can remember, I would 
maybe think Louis Vuitton afternoon swim. I love that one. I think that one is so sexy on a man. But this one is way more tangerine, way more like zingy and citrus and fresh. And it's very like a burst. OK, I love this so much. Very unique scent. As you can see, I did pick it up in the travel. I don't regret that because I find that um, I don't need a ton of this. And this is not like an everyday scent for me but it is so unique and so worth it, okay? It is beautiful. And if you're looking for something different, I definitely recommend you get your nose on Tangerine Boy. It's a must have whether you have this size or the full size, but yeah, it's good. Next up, I have Lost in Paradise by Chris Collins, which is a black perfumer. So I was really excited to try this one out. I also picked this up during the Sephora um, sale as well. And this one I like. Now, I've heard that this reminds a lot of people of the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I'm not a huge fan of that one, but I can definitely see what they mean. It definitely has that solar type of tropical um, suntan lotion vibe to it. And I get that. Um, this starts off very fresh, kind of coconutty, um, but it has a woody, searing type of dry down. And I think if you want a suntan lotion type of scent and you're not a huge fan of Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, um, and you want something that's a little bit more elegant because to me, this is way more elegant. And I think it's a little bit more unisex as well than the Soleil Blanc, in my opinion. OK, so I do like this one. It's really nice. It's very different for me. And if you like cold scents for the summer, this is one of those. Like if you're not like into warm, you know, type of scents, like fruity and sweet type of scents, this one is worth a try. I wouldn't say it's a safe blind buy, even though I blind bought it, um, but it's different for me and I really do like it. So I would wear this alone for date night, but to amp this up in the summer, I'm going to be pulling out my Mont Blanc signature scent. Love, love, love this. This is a very sweet coconut type of marshmallow um, scent, very feminine, but still fresh at the same time. I always say that when I mention this one, it's so crazy how fresh this is while still being marshmallowy sweet. How did they do that? I don't know, but it is so good. Um, I have gotten a little bit of feedback from people who have purchased this based on my recommendation, saying that it was a little bit too sweet for them. So if you don't like sweet scents, don't pick this one up, but it's really good. And these two together is a match made in heaven for a tropical vacation. Last but not least, we have Sunshine by Amouage. Now this scent is so addictive and it is just elegance in a bottle, perfect for summer. I love this scent. I would consider this to be more of a nighttime summer vibe, but I still wear it during the day when I want something a little bit more sweet. And I do tend to mix this with brighter scents as well if I want to brighten it up. But absolutely had to mention this one because it's so addictive. It has a very like realistic dried apricot um, scent to it. And it dries down super soft and powdery, very feminine. Um, for this to be called sunshine, you may be thinking like very fresh. It is so not that, okay, at all. Let me read off the notes to you guys. So the top notes in this one are almond, black currant, artemisia. Hmm, I've never heard of that one. Um, Osmanthus are the middle notes, vanilla, magnolia, and jasmine. And in the base, you have white tobacco, paprius, juniper, and patchouli. It does not have apricot in here, but I totally smell a dried apricot. Like that's exactly what it smells like to me, but it's so comforting, so inviting, so elegant and beautiful. Um, it's just, hmm. This is a rich woman scent. Like if I had to, you know, place it on someone, it's super, super, super gorgeous. I would say if you love a good sweet scent and you're looking for something for summer, but you don't want anything fruity, this one is good. So think of a gourmand that has like the tobacco type feel, the vanilla scents, like notes and, um, you know, almond notes but it's still appropriate for summer. That's what this is. It's very hard to explain in my opinion, but I love pulling this one out. I also like to layer this with uh, the Mont Blanc as well. It makes it very sweet, but it also gives it a little bit more of a youthful touch. How would this be with Tangerine Boy? 
This might work with Tangerine Boy. Um, I'm not sure about on the dry down because this one is such a super like feminine, soft, powdery dry down. And this one dries down quite masculine. But I do feel like the top notes of the Tangerine with this would be gorgeous and definitely make it way more like summer punchy um vibrant you know of a scent but yeah sunshine by amouage is a must-have if you love like almond scents and you're looking for something for summer that is elegant and beautiful and just indescribable it's so good okay y'all so that's the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed these summer fragrances that i'm going to be reaching for like i said this is somewhat of my summer capsule fragrance collection. I like to make sure that I'm giving all of my fragrances a fair chance. So I'm really excited to pull these out and wear them for the summer. Let me know some of your favorite summer um, fragrances that you're excited to pull out. Um, I'm really interested because you guys know I'm always looking for more fragrances. Also, let me know some of your favorite summer combos, like the ones you like to mix and match. You guys know I love a good mix and a match because it creates your own scent. So, but yeah, I'm super excited for the warm weather, y'all. As you can see, like, single sexy and free vibes okay like i'm ready i'm excited and i hope you guys are too i will definitely make sure to link all of the fragrances that i can find down below so make sure to check out that description box and i will talk to you on my next video bye y'all